Happy blessed day. Giving God praise and thanks for another blessed and beautiful day. Today's devotional are, speaks to the our subject of qualifications. Our, I'm reading this from my our devotional booklet. Our, and reading this just really our, stirs my, my our spirit, our, my mind, and my, my heart on just the very uh, thought of what the world are, may see. Uh, as a person being qualified are to be leaders and to be our you know instructors and and what have you from professional or standpoints of view are yes there are are you know values to our being educated now that being said when it comes to leaders Preachers, ministers, apostles, men and women of faith. God does not require any one to have a certain degree or amount of education in order to be used by God. <laughs> Let me say this again. Our I'll put it this way. God can use any one, young and old, rich or poor, educated or illiterate, blind, those that cannot walk, you know, find a way to uh, want to be a servant of God does not require you to have any specific qualification other than your heart, soul, mind, and desire to be used by God. Jesus Christ says, come unto me. Come as you are. Jesus Christ preached the Word of God, Jesus Christ was the Word of God in flesh. And it says to us as followers of Christ to be witnesses, to testify, to share what God has done in our lives. Speak, tell the story. Again, God uses any person that wants to be used by God. You can go to God and not have an impressive resume, not be the most intelligent of the class, the most beautiful or the most successful, or have all the money, you know, in the in the fame and what have you that are uh, some do but having it is with all due respect that some of those with those credentials do not have a true intimate personal relationship with God. It takes a personal relationship. God uses and God anoints, anoints those who come, who surrender all, who give their life to Christ. And again, like I said, it doesn't take someone with impressive credentials to submit their life to Christ and then for Christ to use them to become great, to do great things and to prosper. So let us not be caught up in titles and, and uh, the uh, worldly, uh, stereotypical uh, 
labels that people can sometimes are place on us. We are all, we are all loved the same. We're all created in the image of God, in God's love. God has mercy on the upper echelons who are not even focusing on God. In other words, God's mercy is the same over the lost as well as those who stand in the, you know, light of Christ, who are willing, ready, willing, and able, who serve with whatever they have. They preach, they cure, they give of their service and their time. They do what God and what Jesus would have us do. That is being qualified is when you submit. <laughs> That's all you have to do. That's all you have to have. You come as you are to God. And you set, you set your uh, goals on our being the best servant that you can be working in God's kingdom, being on Team Jesus. So, I just wanted to share this because I normally, you know, and I write uh, daily devotionals um, every day uh, in my personal relationship with Jesus. Uh, we are to study as the Word tells us, we are to study the Word of God to show ourselves approved, to rightly discern the truth. We are to seek wisdom and understanding. We are to abide by the Word of God, which is our guidebook of life, the guidebook of all life. We seek as the word tells us, we seek, we knock, we ask, and God answers. May we all be encouraged. May we all be focused. May we all be loving and kind and supportive to one another. May we all be found in the light of Christ, where we will obtain wisdom and the mercies, the faith, the strength, the healing. We'll obtain all we will ever need. We can all be used. We are all qualified with just surrendering our lives to Christ. We are all loved, we can all be all that God has enabled us to be. But we all have a work in the body of Christ. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your, your amazing grace. Thank you for your light, your wisdom, your healing. Thank you, dear God, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the power of faith. The power of faith and the power of the Holy Spirit that works in us. Thank you for your endless and abundant blessings, dear God, Jesus. In Jesus' name. I am forever grateful. Living in the light oh, of Christ forever, I'm grateful. God bless. Much love, light, peace, and joy.
in Jesus.